Don't raise your hand and stop me. All right. So if we need to be able to determine this is a parallelogram, thank you very much. If we need to determine that it's a parallelogram, my apologies, guys. That was my mistake. The first thing we do is we plot the points, right? Yeah. Plot the points. So everybody at least understands how I got to this point. Now, again, they want us to determine this is a parallelogram. We need to determine this is a parallelogram be based on the distance and the slope formula. All right. So what we need to do is determine that opposite sides have the exact same um, length as well as the exact same slope. So what I'm going to do is determine the length of SZ, not ST, SZ. So remember, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So to determine SZ, I'm just going to label my points x1, y1 and z, x2, y2. So to find the slope, here I'll have negative 2 minus 1 divided by negative 1 minus a negative 2. Well, negative 1 minus 2 is going to be a negative 3. A minus a negative, that becomes positive. Negative 1 plus 2 will just become a negative 1. Yeah, it'd be a positive 1, thank you. Um, so therefore, that's going to have a slope of negative 3. right? So now what we want to do is determine, does the slope, does the line RT have the same slope? Yes? Is that a two minus, I mean two plus sign? Yeah, what it was was negative 1 minus a negative 2. When you have minus a negative, you can convert that to addition. All right, So I, that's why I converted that to a positive. So now let's go and determine RT. So to do RT, again, you just label your coordinates. x1, y1. x2, y2. So then what I have is 0 minus 1 divided by 2 minus a negative 2. Right? Because the formula is subtract. So it's 2 minus a negative 2. Well, 0 minus 1 equals a negative 1. And 2 minus a negative 2 over to 4. Two zero T R R T. What am I doing? Why am I oh my god, I'm picking the jeez, oh man. Zero minus three. Sorry guys. Two minus one. I know, I'm like confusing my thing. I'm subtracting the T and the R, right? I'm subtracting these two. I know, my apologies. I'm subtracting these two. Okay, So I have 0 minus 3 and 2 minus 1. So when I do that, I get negative 3 over 1, which equals negative 3. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, do they have the exact same slope? Yes. But just because opposite sides have the same slope does not prove it's a parallelogram. If they have the exact same slope and they have the same distance, we can show that they are congruent. So now we need to take these points and determine the distance. So Caleb, remember the distance formula, if that's the slope formula, the distance formula is x2 um, minus and then you take the square root. All right. So let's find the distance of sz. Well, that's going to equal the square root. So sz here is going to be negative 2 minus, well, we'll do x2 minus 1. So you do negative 1 minus a negative 2 squared plus y2 minus y1, which would be negative 2 minus 1 squared. And then we need to find the distance of RT. So the distance of RT is going to be 2 minus 1 squared plus 0 minus 3. All right. So what we have here. Let's, again, apply the order of operations. Work inside the parentheses first, Dominic, OK? When you work inside the parentheses first, I know, but I just want to make sure everybody sees that because a lot of students get this mixed up. So negative 1 minus a negative 2, remember, that's going to become positive. So that becomes 1. 1 squared is 1. That becomes negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9. 9. 
square root of 10. Here, that becomes 1 squared, which is 1. And that becomes negative 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. Okay. So what you guys can see is, do they have the same distances? And since they have the same distances, they also have the same slopes. OK? Yes? Not a problem, as long as you have two opposite sides.